Okay, uh, this is a title, uh, Are We Educating Digital Illiterate? Uh, uh, computer science in schools, computer in schools is a topic very much like a healthy diet. Everybody agrees that it's very important and says that we should really care about it. But when it comes to it, we would rather choose a nice sausage. And uh, we can see it uh, from what Adam has told us that uh, we say that computer science is really important, but then we have only eight lessons per the whole curriculum for it. Uh, looking back a bit on the history of computers in school, first there were the PCs and uh, uh, they came to the schools and the first idea was to put a lot of them uh, in the schools so we can have computer labs. And uh, the computer lab proved to be uh, a real quagmire uh, in a lot of senses. First of all, the computer lab uh, needs all your uh, resources to keep up to date. And also uh, really narrows down the scope of computers in the school. Where are the computers in the school? In the computer lab. Where are they uh, working with? Uh, the t t where, where are the children working with them at the ICT classes, and that's all. The next idea was bringing internet to uh, schools, and Hungary was really a pioneer in that, and uh, in the 90s we had internet connection in all of our schools. But uh, still, it was thought that that is something that should be used at the informatics classes. Uh, the next uh, thing that we had was the IVB, the uh, interactive whiteboard, and we were also pioneers in that. And now almost every school uh, in Hungary has uh, an interactive whiteboard, and uh, still uh, it did not change a lot of things. Uh, most of the interactive whiteboards in our country are used as expensive projection sheets. Uh, then we can have uh, the real monster, the interactive whiteboard in the computer lab. Uh, there are a lot of places where they think that the uh, interactive whiteboard is some kind of an informatics device, so let's put it in the computer lab. Uh, I have been in a school in Hungary which had two interactive whiteboards in, in their computer lab. Right now, what we are having as the new ideas are the one-on-one -on -one programs, uh, giving laptops to all of the uh, students and having them work on it. And uh, after seeing all through this, maybe you should be a bit skeptical about it. And uh, uh, I am also skeptical a bit uh, about the one-on-one -on -one programs, although Right now I participate in one, I started one in my school, and I strongly believe that it will work there. But simply giving the tools, simply giving the devices would not change anything. Uh, there are some uh, uh, basic uh, questions that we can, not we can, but we must ask, and uh, we have to find the answers for them. Uh, first of all, what to teach with these computers? What to teach uh, at the ICT classes? This is something that uh, has already been uh, mentioned before, that uh, one view about ICT as a subject in uh, the schools is teaching uh, uh, digital literacy, uh, teaching how to use uh, the uh, word processor, how to set the margins, uh, and how to use a tabulator uh, in, a, in an office program. The other view is uh, teaching coding, and uh, uh, maybe uh, a lot of you can recognize that it uh, it is the turtle of the logo language, uh, and in a lot of places uh, uh, that is how coding is taught, that you can uh, tell uh, the turtle how to go around. But let's face it, in the real life, uh, there aren't a lot of situations when we have to program turtles. Another question that, that, that we should answer 
is why we want to teach uh, using computers, why we need uh, computer science in our schools, why we need computers in the schools at all. And um, I think that the, the best answer to that came from uh, uh, Seymour Paper, uh, who was uh, one of the uh, first uh, designers, creators of the Lego uh, robots. And uh, he said that all his life he tried uh, uh, to find, make, uh, find uh, ways uh, in which technology can be used uh, in the schools so that the children can make something that they could not do before. The, uh, that the children can make things of a complexity, uh, complexity which was uh, uh, unavailable for them before. And uh, there are a lot of skills, uh, skills which are uh, really important in uh, today's world and will be even more important in tomorrow's world. Uh, and building those skills uh, should be one of the major aim of uh, education. And using computers, teaching computer science, can be a real help in that. One of this is knowledge building. Uh, we are uh, past an age where simply knowing something is enough. Uh, we are in an age where uh, Learning is the important thing because there are always new things and we have to learn all the time. And uh, uh, improving knowledge building is something that can be done with uh, computers, computer science in the schools. Uh, working with real problems is, is another thing that is uh, 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 very important. There is a danger of, uh, of uh, the knowledge that we learn in school, uh, getting separate from the knowledge that we use in everyday life. Uh, even now we can see that uh, uh, a lot of our children uh, study from science something, but then they uh, simply don't believe it or, or don't think that it's, it's uh, applicable to the everyday life. Uh, they learn in chemistry about molecules, but then they buy uh, homeopathic uh, medicine. Uh, how is it possible that they, they have a, a, an excellent mark from chemistry and still do that? It is possible if they simply don't believe that what is taught in schools is real. They think that what is taught in schools is a school knowledge applicable only for a school setting. It's good for you to pass the exam and that's all. Uh, having real problems, working on real projects, uh, something that you can touch, something what is applicable in an everyday life uh, is more important than ever. And finally collaboration. Collaboration is something that uh, uh, is uh, really important in today's work. There are teams working all the time and uh, uh, collaboration is a major skill that you need. Collaboration uh, is made much more easier with uh, uh, computers, with using ICT tools. You can collaborate all around the world uh, in a level which was unimaginable before. And uh, there is also the question that we have to answer of how we want to use uh, these uh, tools in our schools. And uh, just two uh, examples of uh, what I think is a good way of using them. Uh, using robots and using 3D printers, uh, I, I do it in my school. Uh, with our students and I see that it has a profound effect on them. Uh, finally they do something and they can touch it. Uh, finally they do something and it works. It's uh, not just on the screen and not just on the test paper. It's something that really exists and, uh, and that is a great motivation for them and uh, helps learning a lot. And another project that uh, I want to mention uh, just for uh, uh, a minute is uh, titled uh, uh, Hospital School. 
It is a project started by uh, my colleague uh, Tibor Prievara, where uh, students are uh, designing learning apps for other students who are in hospitals. And uh, it's amazing what you can see there, how uh, for uh, the young uh, students it becomes important to learn better. It becomes important to learn how to put an app together so others can be helped uh, with that. And uh, this is something where computer science can be uh, a real help in the schools. And I was told to talk for only 10 minutes, and I guess I did that. Thank you very much.